Hello, and welcome to today's lesson about parentheses in number sentences. First, let's go over some important vocabulary that you will need to know and understand for today's lesson. Our first word is expression. This is a mathematical phrase made up of numbers, variables, operation symbols, and or grouping symbols. 2 plus 3 is an example of an expression. Notice that there are no relation symbols such as equals, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to. None of those things are part of an expression. Our next word is ambiguous. The way we are going to be using this word today with our mathematical expressions is that ambiguous means more than one possible meaning. And you will understand this more when we start looking at some math problems later. Our final term for today is nested parentheses. These are parentheses within parentheses in an expression. Here is an example of what nested parentheses look like. As you can see, there is one set of parentheses here that surrounds almost the entire expression. But there is another set of parentheses inside of these parentheses that indicate that that part of the problem must be solved first. Now, let's talk about how to use parentheses in number sentences. Here I have two sets of the same number sentences. You can see that in each set they have a different answer. This first one is equal to 4, but the second one is equal to 6. While this first one is equal to 18, and this second one is equal to 16 and 5 tenths. And they are all true sentences. But how is that possible? Let's talk about how this works. What each of these four number sentences are missing are parentheses. Without parentheses, the expression is said to be ambiguous because it has more than one possible meaning. If I were to add parentheses here to this problem, suddenly the answer of 4 becomes true. That's because anything that's inside of the parentheses must be done first in an expression. So in this case, 2 plus 1 has to happen before we subtract anything from 7. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 7 minus 3 is 4, making this number sentence true. If we add parentheses to the second expression here, we will find that 6 makes this number sentence true. As I stated previously, whatever is inside the parentheses in an expression is the part of the expression that has to be done first. Since 7 minus 2 is in the parentheses, that has to happen first. 7 minus 2 is 5, and 5 plus 1 is 6, which shows you that this number sentence is now true with the parentheses added. Now let's look at this third expression. For this expression, I am going to add parentheses here and here. 7.5 plus 1.5 is equal to 9. I am going to multiply that by 2.0. 9 times 2 is equal to 18, which is the answer to this number sentence. For our final expression, I am going to add parentheses here and here. 2.0 times 7.5 is equal to 15. 15 plus 1.5 is equal to 16.5, which is the answer to this number sentence. Here is your practice problem for the day. Solve both of these number sentences. In the first problem, make sure that you start with the two numbers, 3 and 7, that are in the parentheses and then complete the rest of the problem. Do the same thing for the second problem. You should get two different answers for this problem. Make sure to write both and show all of your work in your math notebook. Good luck!